A brief history overview of, of the book of Colossians. Uh, Colossians was wrote by the Apostle Paul uh, around 60 AD is what it, what it records. Uh, it, was, it was a time he was in Rome where, where he was in prison actually, but he actually was writing to the church of Colossae was the town that they were in. And what he had uh, experienced, he had heard, I'm going to say through the grapevine, that that church was bringing much fruit, hallelujah, to, to the city. Amen. So what he did was, and, and it was another thing, he also heard that it was some false teachers growing up My God. in that same city Go ahead. that much fruit was being brought forth. My God. Hallelujah. Amen. And the apostle Paul, hallelujah, was greatly offended. Therefore, he had to write to this church. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. And it says it's about a, a hundred miles east, east of Ephesus in the valley of the river Lycus. And its location now is currently Turkey. Uh -huh. It says, at that time, it was, it was known as a, as a vast, a large community. It, it was very rich. It was, a, it was a rich land at one time. But at this time that we're speaking of, it was a small land due to the increase of uh, Laodicea, mm -hmm. the town Laodicea, uh -huh. and uh, Aeropolis. They had grew over time, uh -huh. which made this city of Colossae kind of small. You know, kind of, kind of like, you know, if, if you put it like in, in the form of a church, and in the churches that we see nowadays, they're kind of small. But the one thing that, that brought my attention real close to this, it was small, but it was mighty. Ah. Hallelujah, it brought forth much fruit. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah, it didn't matter the size, it didn't matter what was, up, what was going on around, no matter what riches was Lord. going on, hallelujah, Thank it was mighty, hallelujah, and it was fruitful. Ah. Hallelujah, and I, I thought that was so great. Hallelujah, this small town being so fruitful. And, and I think about New Day when I think about a small town. Hallelujah, a small town. One, one thing I, I realize about small towns, see, I'm a delivery driver, and, and I deliver to small towns. You know, they have some wonderful people in small towns. You get to these big places, and I'm going to say like Fort Wayne, hallelujah, you get a, a bunch of people that, that that's crabby or stuck up, if you will. They don't like to associate with you. You can't even go inside of a place without somebody mugging you. Uh -huh. But the small town is where you get the hugs, where you get the smiles. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Where, where everybody's full of joy. Hallelujah. Where everybody's full of pleasure. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. not, not, the, not the pleasures of this world, but they're full of pleasures of each other. You know, because they have much love for each other. And, and it, it brought me to remember a new day. Hallelujah. And how, how it's much joy. Hallelujah. In this place. How is much happiness? How is how's much restoration Come in this on. place? How this small place? Hallelujah! I'm saying this small place. Hallelujah! That the Lord had called by name. Hallelujah! But great. But yet fruitful. Hallelujah! In this place. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the town, uh, Epiphras was the minister of this small town. Hallelujah! And, and we got Apostle Tremble of this small town. So I bless the Lord for that. It's around uh, around this time, it said it was believed that that Paul, Apostle Paul, never had got a chance to visit this place. Uh -huh. It was it was a, a product of him bearing fruit, but he never got a chance to actually visit them. You know, so what he did was he had to take everything that he had heard and put his thoughts of what's been going on in a letter. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. This letter consisted of many things. This, this letter consisted of, hallelujah, goodness. In, in the first chapter, it spoke of the goodness, hallelujah, of this church. It, it spoke of the goodness of the minister of this place, hallelujah. But then again, you, you move on down to the further chapters. Yes. It starts talking about, hallelujah, how they were denying, the false teachers were denying that Jesus existed. They were denying his teachings. They were denying, hallelujah, the, the deity of Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. There's not a friend Glory. like the lowly Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But they denied him. Uh, hallelujah. Come on. And what I found interesting enough is that every single time, hallelujah, the name Jesus is shouted. Mm. Hallelujah. 
is somebody else that's going to speak contrary. Come on. Hallelujah to his name. Right. Hallelujah that great wonderful name. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The name that breaks chains. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The, the name, hallelujah, that makes bonds. Hallelujah. Be free. Hallelujah. God bless God. Hallelujah. For even the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because hallelujah. <laughs> the name of Jesus is so great. Hallelujah yeah. to me. Hallelujah. I think about where I come from. I think about that horrible pit. Hallelujah. That he had pulled me out of. Hallelujah. Before I even knew. Hallelujah. Of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, of God. I'm, I'm going to say this. Before I even knew uh, the presence of God. Hallelujah. I heard Jesus. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord. Hallelujah. He, he pulled himself out the way. Hallelujah. He gave all authority. Hallelujah. All dominion to Jesus. Begins to get shame. Come on, hallelujah. Isn't that something? Hallelujah. The minute you rise up, hallelujah. The minute, yes. hallelujah, you're doing good, hallelujah. When you would do good, hallelujah. It's, it's always some trouble, hallelujah, that's going to be in your way, hallelujah. And I said, when the enemy would come in like a flood, hallelujah. Jesus lifted up a stand, hallelujah. Hallelujah. He had a standard of walking, he had a standard of talking. He didn't do the things, hallelujah, that the world did, but he did the things that God spoke for him to do. The Son of God, hallelujah. The Son of God, hallelujah. Let's, uh, we're going to turn Colossians chapter 1, uh, 20 and 23, 20 through 23. You don't have to stand. It says, and having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Yes. And you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yes. yet now hath he reconciled. Hallelujah. I am going in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. And it says, look, if you continue in the faith, hallelujah, somebody, hallelujah. ground it and settle, hallelujah. and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. That's the good news, somebody. Have you have heard, which you have heard, in which was preached to every creature, which is under heaven. Amen. Where I, Kenneth, hallelujah, hallelujah. made a deep of the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
See, this thing ain't new. This thing is going on, but it's, it's going to get worse. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. But it's so imperative that as we become its saints, hallelujah, that we know where our foundation has been started and laid at from the beginning of time. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus didn't just come, hallelujah, in the New Testament. Huh? Come on, somebody with me. Did Jesus come in the New Testament? Come on, come on, hallelujah. Now, that's when we first heard of him. Come but hallelujah, he's talking about the spirit of the living God. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you believe, hallelujah, that Jeremiah, hallelujah, that he knew Jeremiah, hallelujah, since before his mother's born, hallelujah. then how can he not believe that he didn't know Jesus? The living God. He's a living God. Oh God. Hallelujah. Jesus. The one that created all things, that knew all things, and by all things. Yes. Hallelujah. He had made them. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But it was for our sake. Yes. After the fall, hallelujah. You think about Adam had direct communication with our Lord, with, with our God. He had direct communication. But it's just like a phone line. Hallelujah. As soon as you snip that thing, you lose a signal. And that's how it was with, with us. We we try we try to, to, to get to that place to where it's just God alone, where it ain't gonna work like that. Huh. Come on, somebody. Go ahead. Hallelujah. How many of us know, hallelujah, that it's through Jesus that our prayers are gonna be answered? That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. It, it, it's through Jesus, Amen. hallelujah, because he's on the right hand of hallelujah, our Savior, our, of, of our King, I'm gonna say. Hallelujah, he's on the right hand, hallelujah, delivering, hallelujah, he's he's as a messenger Go ahead. to us. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. So it's so it's uh, a no God alone, hallelujah. But it's God, hallelujah, it's Jesus, hallelujah, and it's the spirit of the living God. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Thank you, Lord. It's the spirit of the living God. But a false teacher would arise. A false teacher would arise and speak contrary to what we know, which is true. He, he would try and come in, hallelujah, and deceive us. Hallelujah, kind of just like uh, uh, Eve had been deceived in the garden. Yes. Hallelujah, see, he don't, he don't stop, hallelujah, with one thing. Once he see, hallelujah, he can bring discouragement on one hand. Once he see, hallelujah, he can rip your joy on another hand. Hallelujah, he know, hallelujah, discouragement was a thing, hallelujah, that's going to take everything down. Come hallelujah, on. so he know if he Come get on. you to that place, hallelujah, he can get your mind so wrapped up in what's going on. Hallelujah, he can get your mind so wrapped up in yourself. Hallelujah, so now. He, he can get your mind, hallelujah, to what he wanted to do. Yeah. Hallelujah, I know this. Because I once did my own thing. Go ahead. Hallelujah, but Go a lot ahead. of times, hallelujah, I can't even remember what I did. And they call it a blackout. No, I call it, it was a, sa a Satan takeover. Hallelujah. Ah. Ah. Anybody ever been in that state? I know, I know this is a young church, hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody ever been to that state where you yeah. wonder how you got home oh, the next day after you dropped off your homie? Come hallelujah, on. I know I ain't the only one, hallelujah, that's been <laughs> to the place, hallelujah, of no return, hallelujah. When, when, when I woke up, hallelujah, I didn't know I got home. I didn't know how safe I was. Hallelujah. Say you know how to steal, kill, and destroy us. Go ahead. Hallelujah. It is pleasing to him. That's the, that's the great thing about it to, to say this. It's pleasing to him. Mm. Hallelujah. That he have our minds. That he have full control over us. Teach. Go ahead. Go ahead. But these false teachers. False. <laughs> false. With their persuasive selves. Ah. Cain ah. said that <laughs> Jesus Christ was not real. Jesus Christ walked and he talked and he dedicated himself to the people. Come he on. served. Hallelujah. He didn't come to be served, but he served. He Hallelujah. He, he did the thing. He, he, he exemplified love unto the saints. Yes, he did. Hallelujah. And, and we think we know what that thing is. That thing of, of, of love. And I, I had to go look up this thing, love, and there were so many psychologists talking about love and, 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 and what's the factors of love, hallelujah. But, it, but if you have to look at things, we never knew love until God, hallelujah. We never knew love, hallelujah, because he had loved us first, hallelujah. But that wasn't enough, because you, you look in the Old Testament, hallelujah. 
And some of them tried to display love. Some of them tried to, you know, uh, think of David. I think of David right now. I mean, he had a heart for the Lord, but he didn't display the full love that he could have. It was a it was a conditional thing when it came down to David. Come on. Because when Bathsheba was looking good, probably when he was supposed to be at war, the Lord wasn't looking so great in his eyes. But I tell you what, Bathsheba was looking great in his eyes. Hallelujah. She was a sweet thing in his eyes. Hallelujah, somebody. I know I ain't the only one. Hallelujah. That had read where, where, where he had just he lost himself. Hallelujah. He even got himself down to lying. But he loved the Lord. It's good. It's good. He loved the Lord. It's good. He loved it. He loved the Lord. But he didn't sacrifice his thoughts well, for the Lord's will. That's what it takes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It, it takes a sacrifice. Love is a sacrifice. Come on, son. If you look at love, you you never see someone uh, you, you always see someone give it. hallelujah but that don't necessarily mean that they have love Go ahead. So people, people give to children from Africa all the time because their emotions say that looks like it hurts or that, that, that looks like it's painful for them to uh, go without food, without water it, it, it just looks that way but the truth of it is is they just wanted a tax break that's it. Well, uh, Come on, my Did they, they, they not just want that tax credit? Keep Hallelujah. Or the bragging rights of, I gave over to Africa. I gave over to Europe. I gave over, hallelujah, to, to, to the uttermost parts of the world. But Jesus came. Hallelujah. He, he didn't have to be seen. Matter of fact, I, I, I recall many scriptures in the book of Matthew to where Jesus Hallelujah. He done many miracles. But he told him, he said, look, don't go tell them what I just did. Don't go tell them what I did. But it's love when we give, so they say. But you always, when you have someone that loves you, they give you something. I knew I had love for my wife. Keep it real. Couple years after we was dating, I been told her I loved her, mm -hmm. but I ain't never given her nothing besides the stuff that we had in the house. But that was for me too. Come on, come on. When you love someone, you give for that person. Amen. 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 And that's what Jesus exemplified. Hallelujah. He he loved us. God exemplified this. He loved us. He yes. gave his son. His son loved us. He gave his life. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's a process. That's good. But we still yet have to, have to figure this thing out. This whole process. Because at times, we get to the point of where we say we love somebody, but let them cheat. We say that we love them. But let them let them go and do their own thing. Let them go do them. Huh? Is what they say nowadays. Mm -hmm. And we hate. Go ahead, we sir. hate them because it's that conditional love that'll bring us to a place of not knowing what Jesus actually did for us. Amen. Amen. Good. So Paul had to write. It was through Jesus he had to explain. It was through Jesus that the mystery of God was shown. How many of us hadn't known Jesus, but we knew all about God? Yeah. Amen. That's Amen. Real. That's real. Amen. That's good. It's a key. That's good. When you get to the Savior, and He opens doors, He gives us this place to where no man can go with his own mind. I got to fully understand. Why a drunkard can be out on the on the neighborhood block and he can give much wisdom. I got a full understanding through this time that I had by myself. I got a full understanding and that understanding was because they once knew the Lord. Mm -hmm. Is why they still have wisdom. Because they once knew him. Mm -hmm. 
they can just gain it being a drunkard because at one point in time in their life, yeah. they had been to a place to where they was following after the Lord, the Savior. Ah. They were still, they still operate though Come off on. that old wisdom. Amen. They, they still, they still know what they know uh -huh. because the Lord ain't gonna let them lose it. Amen. Amen. But I got a full understanding That's good. why they can continue with that same wisdom, and we'll look at it as His wisdom being poured out. But we're now looking at how they actually got the wisdom. Mm. Because they first knew the source of how to get the wisdom. That's good. Amen. That's yeah. good. It says. Mm. That's good. Wow. Christ was the mystery of God. It says, and through him all riches and understanding. We ain't talking about silver and gold. Go ahead. All riches. All riches. All spiritual riches. Your mind, your thoughts, hallelujah, everything, hallelujah, that, that God will give us is through Jesus. He turned it over to Jesus when he fulfilled the will. Hallelujah. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Talk about the Savior. Mm. Jesus didn't care. He said, look, you can talk about me. You can talk about the Lord. Talk about God. Just don't blast me. The Holy Ghost. Ah. <laughs> Come on, come on. I can understand why everybody would want to hate someone with so much power. Mm, because they can't get it. Because they don't want to seek him. It's good. So seek ye first the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom. Go ahead. That's where understanding comes from. I, I never fully understood the things of God. I never had a chance to grow up inside of a church. But going on four years here, I've got a full understanding. Not, not, not all the way full, but in most things, I have a full understanding of what God wants to do with my life. My God. I have a full understanding. Thank you. Thank you. And it, it was through oh, yeah. the cross. Yes. Mm. Wow. Hallelujah. A lot of times we like to forget about the cross that we need to bear day by day. But you have to look at you have to look at this. The cross. When you look at that cross, just as Apostle Paul looked at, at that cross every single time that he wrote, hallelujah, one of the letters. Mm -hmm. You look at that cross and you have to see the filth, hallelujah, that is nailed up to that thing. Hallelujah, that he had took. For our sake. Hallelujah, Jesus. It was through the cross. It was through the cross. That same movement, hallelujah, that, that grabbed us out of our mess, turned us around, took that old man, hallelujah, mortified it, hallelujah, and, and cast it down, hallelujah, that we could be new creatures hallelujah. through our risen Savior, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. New creature. I, I bless God, hallelujah, for being a new creature. So don't follow after man's philosophy, man's traditions, Go ahead. what man say do. No, you're supposed to be seeking the Lord for that. That's it. Because that's where it's going to come from. That's right. it. Amen. We still want to, you got to have a skirt on. You, you, you can't have earrings. You can't preach because you're a woman. Mm -hmm. Follow after those old traditions. Go ahead. So I guess we're going to put the Lord in a box. Amen. Because of our own traditions, because of what we want to see, what we want to believe. Come on. I have a message for you today. It ain't never been about what you cared about, what you believed in. Come on. Hallelujah. But, but God had, had already established what was going to happen. Hallelujah. They never got to that place to where I don't believe this, so I'm going to go over here. Or I, I just can't see what y'all see, so I'm going to go over there. No, it, it ain't never been about that. Amen. But it's been about God's will Amen. since the beginning of time. Amen. Hallelujah. It's true. It's through Christ that we have new life. It's through him that all of our transgressions is nailed to that cross. Hallelujah. Putting off the old man with his old deeds, he said. On, hallelujah. His old deeds. That means hallelujah. <laughs> that, that same spirit that will make us come in and, and, and praise the Lord 
and, and oh, I'm doing good, I'm, I'm holly, I'm jolly, holiday, it's almost Christmas time, I'm feeling excited, hallelujah, but you have some mess at all, let's get that old lion spirit Come on. that you're dealing with, you say, put it off, put it off, put it off, help us Lord, still shame, let it go. Still shame of what's going on when you with the saints of God. Oh, you better put off that old fleshly man. Because he ain't got nothing to get you in trouble. Nothing. Oh, I, I had to learn that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep real. I had to learn that. Go ahead. Coming in here. Praise the Lord. Oh, man. It's high time in the Lord today. <laughs> Good God. Go ahead, son. Tell it. Lord, convict you real quick. Yes, he will. <laughs> You'd be sadder than you was happy by the time you left. Because he didn't answer nothing that you didn't ask for. Mortify is killing. But it's a little beyond killing. Look, it's stumping that thing. Probably to blood gushing out of that thing till you know it ain't no more life in it. That's mortifying that flesh. Hallelujah. It's not, it's not just putting it in subjection. Hallelujah. Subjection is just. I'm going to hold you down. You, you're going to stay right here. I'm going to bind you up, follow you, because I know I'm stronger than you. But no, no, we're not talking about it. We're talking about, look, you need to mortify that thing, hallelujah. That, that, that devil, hallelujah. That, that hallelujah, you, you need to stump on him. You know, I, I lifted weights a lot, but I always knew if I ever had that chance, and I'm speaking if I was doing it out back there, I always knew if I had that chance, I was gonna I wasn't gonna stop. It was gonna be on the ground, I wasn't gonna stop. That's what you need to do with that flesh. Come on, you need to mortify that thing, hallelujah, and don't stop. Very good. Grounded in the word of God. Help us, help us, God. Help us, God. Hey. Said, put on the new man. New man. Put on the new man. Walk in wisdom. <coughs> Where does wisdom come again? It comes from Christ. <coughs> Knowing about Christ will determine your entire walk with God. Amen. Knowing about his son. You don't never, ever just get to know one person. When, when, when I knew Minister Williams, I, I wanted to know about his entire lineage. Amen. You know, I, I asked about his family. But God has a family. God has a lineage. God. And it's Christ, hallelujah, and, and it's many thereafter. Amen. Amen. But I started with Christ because we're not going to start with Adam. We're going to start with, hallelujah, our new lineage. That's good. That's good. Then That's back good. to Adam. Can't go back Don't to Adam. Don't go back to Adam. Can't go back to Adam. It was many trials. It was many, many people failed trying to go back to Adam and go ahead. That's good. That's good. That's good. He saw the Lord face to face. But you ain't Adam. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's good right there. You ain't Adam. God ain't even said he wanted to talk to you directly. <laughs> All President Obama. You see if you get a face to face with you, mm -hmm. little old man. Come on. And he ain't nothing. Come on. I'm saying he ain't nothing. That's right. That's right. Compared to my Lord, he ain't nothing. Nothing. That's how we are. We have That's to good. we have That's to look good. at ourselves as nothing when it comes to the comparison of God. But we want to directly just God. God, I, I'm seeking you because. I need to know this, God. I, I, I need you in here. But he said, why you ain't called a healer? Come on. Why you ain't called, hallelujah, the, the shelter? Ah. I gave you Jesus because he was going to ask you. He said, look, you're going to have to come to me in order to get to my father. And I feel him, though. I feel Jesus on that. Hallelujah. Because ain't nobody getting to my daddy. I'm talking about my natural daddy. Ain't nobody getting to my daddy unless they coming through me. Amen. I, Amen. He got remarried. I had to know who his wife or, or who it was. He was dating. You ain't just about to come and just get to know my daddy. I need to know who you are. Who come are on you? Now. Come on. Who are you? Come on. Yeah. And that's how we have to look at things. Amen. Walk in wisdom. I believe Paul needed 
the Colossians to know. And he spoke so much about Jesus in this book. He spoke more about Jesus than any other letter that he had wrote to any of, of how they needed to be grounded and rooted in Jesus. Because he knew the fruit that they was bringing forth. But he knew it was some persuasion going on. My God. So he had to make sure that they was grounded in him. That's good. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Grace is Jesus. The Lord began to reveal that to me. He said, when I spoke about grace, Jesus was what you see in the back. I, I, Lord God, and mercy. But Jesus is grace. Come on. When you take grace, out the equation. Go ahead. You ain't getting to me. Uh, it's a big difference between grace and mercy. Go ahead. And then I'm going to read this. I know I'm swaying away from my notes, but I, it, it says grace is simply God's blessing, God blessing us despite the fact that we don't deserve it. It says, and mercy is God not punishing us. Our, our sins that we deserve. My God. Mercy will deliver us from judgment. Uh -huh. Grace will extend kindness to the unworthy. Go ahead. That's good. It says Hebrew 4 and 16 says, let us come boldly before the throne of Grace. Jesus. Grace. Let us come boldly before the throne of Grace uh -huh. that we may obtain mercy, mercy. and find Help. Grace. In the time of need. We're going to attain God, but we need to search for grace Amen. in the midst thereof. That's real good. That's real good. That's real good. Jesus is our, our hope of salvation. The, the only hope that we have. Amen. Jesus, Jesus spoke in uh, Matthew 11, 28. He says, come unto me. He says, come unto me. Let you know, look, don't further go to the Father directly. He said, look, come unto me. All the labor in our heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Yes. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. That's what he said. Learn of me. For I am, I am, Meek and lonely in heart, and you shall find rest in your souls. He said, look, the first thing is you don't believe me, why you ain't learned about me? There's some books dedicated straight to him called the Gospels. But we too busy looking elsewhere, trying to find out about this man called Jesus. But he said, look, take upon my yoke and learn of me. That's good. You don't believe in me, learn of me. See what I'm about. Amen. See if I lie to you. See if I fail you. Matter of fact. Hallelujah. For my yoke is easy. My burden is light. <laughs> Jesus got to be the equation. Mm. Got to be. Got to be. So God was love from the beginning. So Jesus was love from the beginning. Because he was already created. And everything that was created was for him. Jesus understood what God wanted. Because the spirit of God was in him. We try and understand what God wants, but we lack the spirit thereof. Amen. Amen. It's until you get his spirit, we all know we have, we have Acts 2 and 38 church. We all know how to get his spirit. Go ahead. But it's until we get his spirit, we won't know of him. That's good. He said, learn of me. No, that's good. Learn of me. God, he was love, and he is love. Love is his attribute. 
Everybody ain't got love. As much as we like to think, we love. It's conditional. A lot of times it's conditional. A lot of times it's, I don't even know what to call it. We just, we just make up something and, and place love there. Amen. Help us. Love ain't in everything. Help us you might care for some things. You might, you might have some strong feelings for some things. But love ain't there. Jesus love. Hallelujah. Sitting there thinking about love. I never really heard anything about salvation being brought forth through love. Come on. Salvation wasn't brought through love. Salvation was brought through the death, burial, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, hallelujah, it, it, love. I don't recall it being part of that formula. Everybody ain't got love. God is rich in it. Say he's rich in mercy and love. Amen. Everybody ain't got what God got. As much as we like to think that it's there, it ain't always there. That's right. God is rich in it. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just because he's rich in it don't mean he's giving it to us yet. Help us it's there. something that we have to get from him. It's a gift that he passes down. Not just a gift, it's an attribute of him. That's how you know that you have him is when you can love like him. Amen. 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 That's it right there. That's good. So Paul... Oh, I had to write this letter to the Colossians because he understood where their faith needed to be. He understood that, that they had to hope in that very thing that they first believed in. They had to have hope in that thing. That, that was Jesus Christ. Where they first, hallelujah, ran. Hallelujah. And I'm reminded of the scripture, you, you did run well, but who hindered you? We can't let the false teachers get to the place to where they hindered us from what we already established in our lives. We can't just put off Christ if just because we want to. He always go know, hallelujah, how we feel. He always go know what we have need of. Amen. Hallelujah. Once we have received him, it, it never leaves. Amen. Amen. Help us, Lord. But that's his love. That's his love. He knows what we have need of. And he'll take us to that place. To where we know where love is. And it's through him. say that I love you but you messed up so I'm going to leave you. But it was us leaving him. Amen. Amen. Faithful. And so I bless the Lord for the word of God Amen. which has pricked at my heart which he has set me down to understand that it's through his son it's through the risen Savior that we have hope. Amen. And just as that church had to understand as many teachers that's going to try and persuade us, as many people that's going to try and, and tell us that we're doing too much, as many people that's going to try and talk us out of doing what we're doing because they miss us, because they want us to be a part of their life. And I believe that Apostle Paul would have wanted the Colossians to know that where you first started is where the Lord had established you. Amen. Before you even knew it. Hallelujah. And as a church, it said we need to be rooted. We need to be grounded. Not in ourselves. But we need to be rooted in the Savior. He's our hope. He's our peace. He's our joy. 
Matter of fact, he is our instruction to life. He sent his word. But he didn't just send his word. He sent his son to fulfill that very word that he had for us. Because when we wouldn't understand what it said, his son did. Because his son had his heart. His son had his spirit. His son had his mind. His son had every attribute that he had. And the Lord is speaking to me even now saying, trust me. Amen. Trust me. Trust me. Don't lose hope. Be rooted. They are coming. You are going out. Be rooted. They are coming as roaring lions. But you need to be steadfast in the faith. You need to do and fulfill the call. You need to walk worthy of the vocation of which you were called. You need to establish your goings. You need to do what I have commanded of you. You need to operate in obedience. Hallelujah. You need to hallelujah be as my son was. Mm. My God. I bless the Lord for his word. Amen. Amen.